I will tell you all about the dino pets in Adopt Me. Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Smilodon, the Deinonychus, there it is, so beautiful. Stegosaurus, the Woolly Mammoth, the Dilophosaurus. <laughs> Dino friends, today the Dino Pets are finally in Adopt Me. As you can see behind me, I've got a little brother or kid or twin. I'm not really sure. I've got another T-Rex with a top hat. I called him Mini Me because he looks just like me. And there's 11 more extinct animals brought back to life by the experienced scientists that you can see behind me. There's Rachel and there is Henry up there. And then we have Tom back there. Uh, also, we have Bert here. I forgot what Bert does. Bert, what is Bert for? Dinosaurs aren't real, you know. That bone is just from a giant. Watch out for the beanstalk. Ah, uh, okay. I think he's just here to pretend that dinosaurs aren't real. You can't say dinosaurs aren't real. I'm a dinosaur, look. And I have a dinosaur right here. You cannot say dinosaurs aren't real when I have a dinosaur and when I am a dinosaur. Anyway, if you haven't been playing Adopt Me, here you can dig up the beautiful fossils and you can also find other dino things and dino toys. And this is what the egg looks like. Ooh, the fossil egg looks just like the T-Rex, but the egg version of the T-Rex. Very beautiful. Anyway, I'm here today because now that the dinosaurs are finally here, that means the dino park is also ready and we can finally show all the dinosaurs to you guys. I'm very proud of this because me and the builders, including Angel Go Pokemon, have been working very hard to build a beautiful dino park in Roblox Adopt Me. Tell me when you want to start. Oops, I started already. Anyway, before we go to the park, I still really want to look at these, this beautiful island that they made just for uh, the event. I don't know if they'll delete it later or something, but I don't know, but it looks so cool. Look at the dinosaurs, the bones. Look at this. You can actually see the bones. That is, is that your mom and your dad? That's actually really sad. The, those are the bones of the mom and the dad of my pets. I'm so sorry, Mini Me. I'm so sorry. Anyway, if you turn in the fossils, you can see what pets there are. Here they are. And the egg is here as well. Oh, you can buy it from here as well. <gasps> da -da -da -da! Fossil egg. Okay, I like my T-Rex more. Okay, so anyway, this island is really beautiful. It's like a little Isla Nublar. They've got a few dinosaur references. Like, you've got the helicopter that's landing near the waterfall. Just like the start in Jurassic Park. And then you've got a bunch of scientists. One is called Henry, just like Henry from the uh, from Jurassic Park so I'm not sure if that's intentional I think so um, so I just wanted to look at this one more time because I might never see it again I don't know if they'll delete it or not but now it's time for the dino show okay I have an idea I'm going to waste some robux I don't usually waste robux a lot in my videos but I just this time it's going to be worth it okay let's see <gasps> okay, ride dinosaur. Ride T-Rex. Oh my god. Oh my god. He is drinking. He is drinking the ride potion. <gasps> you can now ride the T-Rex. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. I made it a ride T-Rex. That is so cool. Mini me is now rideable. I have got my own T-Rex to ride. That is so epic. That is so epic. This is so cool. I love the riding a T-Rex. I am a T-Rex and I am on a T-Rex. Okay, now I feel like he's jealous. I'll give him a potion too. Okay, that's enough. No more. Okay, you know what? Because I'm nice, I will give you one potion too. For your dino you can put it on the dot he has a dodo i don't have a dodo yet i'm a little bit jealous but i have every other dinosaur i have every dinosaur except for the dodo so it's okay i shouldn't be jealous but i love dodo so much so i hope one day i'll get a dodo but for now we will look at his dodo maybe he will use the potion bro thank you so much use it wisely now to the show 
there's only one correct way to go to the dino show and that is by riding on the back of a dinosaur here we go okay so here's my house if you have not been following the live streams basically i bought this house because it's, it has a lot of really big rooms and i needed one really big room to build a dino park a small dino park inside so if you go here you can see the sign dino world grand opening come see all i don't know what i mean by all come all people come see all dinosaurs look at that he has the dodo <gasps> he has the dodo he has a dodo and i have a t-rex oh they're they're friends they are friends dodo and t-rex are friends <sighs> oh no no okay let's go inside I'm going to go inside on the back of the T-Rex. <sighs> All right. So as you can see, when we get in the building team, put some walls around here. And this is where you buy the ticket. Hang on. You have to buy the ticket first. Uh, um, okay, there we go. Du -du -du -du. So this is where you buy the ticket. It is $20, which is pretty cheap, okay? If you want to see a T-Rex, all you have to pay is $20. That's pretty cheap. I would do that. I would pay $20 to go see a T-Rex, I think. Buy a ticket. Thank you. Also, I, I don't have to buy a ticket because this is my park, okay? I'm the park owner. So as you can see right here, the building team has been working very hard to build these rooms for every single uh, creature that is new to adopt me. So... For the dinosaur show, I'm going to give the microphone to a paleontologist, okay? We're going to find a paleontologist. <gasps> Look at the dodo. There it is. So beautiful. Okay, so for the dino show, I will give the microphone to a real paleontologist, okay? Hello, hello. It is me, Nigel, paleontologist. I work here as a paleontologist in the park. Yes, I will tell you all about the dino pets in Adopt Me. Okay, so as you can see here, this is the time of the dinosaurs. You might not understand, but I will explain, so don't worry. Alright, this is the Triassic, the first time of the dinos. There's three times of the dinos. First the Triassic, then the Jurassic, then the Cretaceous. And then after that, we have a lot more time, but there's no more dinosaurs because they died. Very sad. So here in the park, we have a total of 12 creatures. As you can see, six of them lived in the time of the dinos. And then when the dino time ended, there are six more creatures. So the oldest creature that we have here in the dino park is the Dilophosaurus. Thank you, thank you. Dilophosaurus in its natural habitat. That's right. Here we have the Dilophosaurus and it's sleeping right now, so we have to be quiet. The Dilophosaurus is a carnivore from the Jurassic. One of the oldest dinosaurs that we know about, and this is the oldest one that we have here in the Dino Park. The Dilophosaurus could actually grow really, really big, much bigger than people think, because in Jurassic Park, the Dilophosaurus is small, but in real life, it could get even bigger. Also, the Dilophosaurus didn't actually have the frills, or at least we don't know for sure that it had those, and spitting the poison, we don't know that for sure either. S but still, even if it doesn't spit poison and doesn't have the scary frills it still would have been a scary dinosaur because it could get really big all right so that is the very start of the jurassic as you can see our park sadly has no dinosaurs from the triassic the triassic was the earliest time of the dinosaurs when there were dinosaurs that were only just starting they looked very different wow the dilophosaurus is the oldest dino yes you are correct. The Dilophosaurus is the oldest that we have here in the park. Then, for the rest of the Jurassic times, there is only one more dinosaur that we have. Here we have the Stegosaurus. Hey, don't do that. So as you can see, the Stegosaurus was a creature with a small head and big spikes at the end of its tail. And it had plates on its back. And we think that it used the plates on its back to regulate its temperature. Also, in the time of the Stegosaurus, 
the grass didn't even exist yet. So it didn't eat grass. It probably ate moss and things like that. That is probably why his head is so low to the ground. So it can eat all the moss. And the spikes at the end of the tail were probably used to defend against attackers. Look at this little guy. He is very happy to see us. All right, you can hold him, but you have to be very careful of the spikes at the end of the tail. Be very careful, okay? Now that is the Jurassic, the middle of the three times of the dinosaurs. And then the Cretaceous started. Wow! The Cretaceous is the third of the three periods of the dinosaurs and the longest one. As you can see, the Cretaceous is longer and it had more dinosaurs. This was when the dinosaurs got really crazy because they had existed for so many millions of years. They grew bigger and bigger and stronger and they were better specialized at what they were doing. Somewhere in the early middle of the Cretaceous time lived a raptor called Deinonychus. Because this one is a baby, I can hold it, but you have to be very careful. Visitors cannot hold this one because sometimes he will bite, so you have to be very careful. I will just put him here because he's a little bit sleepy. There we go. He's going to sit on his little rock. He likes that. The Deinonychus was one of the biggest raptors who could actually become as long as two humans were tall. That's how long it could be. That is very big for a raptor because the Velociraptor, unlike people think the Velociraptor was actually really small but the Deinonychus could get really big and as you can see it had feathers and one very big claw on every foot ah. and then in the park we have three creatures as you can see that lived at the very very end of the dino times these creatures were here when the dinosaurs went extinct and is very sad, but we managed to bring them back. One of them is the Triceratops. As you can see, the Triceratops is named after its three horns. The name Triceratops means three horn face. Of course, it is named that because it had three horns on the face, as you can see here. It used those horns probably to fight other Triceratops or attackers. Also, it had a very big head, as you can see, and it was one of many Ceratops which was a very big family of many different dinosaurs but the triceratops was the biggest which is why i have to put it down because it's a little bit heavy there we go okay you stay there okay little triceratops <laughs> The second of the creatures that lived at the very end of the dino times was the Pteranodon. Oh, interesting. The Pteranodon is very easy to carry because in order to be able to fly, they have to, of course, be very lightweight. And that is why I can just pick him up like this, but I will put him back in his nest. The Pteranodon, as you can see, likes to sit in his nest right there. And it likes to eat fish and other things, small animals, things like that. This is actually not a dinosaur. Like some people think it's a flying dinosaur, it's a special dinosaur, it's a winged dinosaur. But no, it's actually con just considered a flying reptile. Hey, you're not a dinosaur. Get out of there, that's dangerous. And then we have, of course, one of the most well-known dinosaur, probably the most famous dinosaur that ever existed, the T-Rex. Also existed at the very end of the Cretaceous. The T-Rex sadly went extinct. Here he is, the Tyrannosaurus Rex, only a baby, and he's looking a little grumpy today because he has not had his food yet. He's looking a little grumpy, but the T-Rex, of course, was one of the biggest hunters that ever lived. The T-Rex lived in a land called Laramidia, which was the west side of the United States today, where it also lived the Triceratops and the Velociraptor. So maybe it ate the Triceratops and other creatures that lived in that area at that time. All we know is that it was very big and very scary and also very dangerous, which is why I'm not allowed to pick it up. Then in the park, we have six more creatures that are not dinosaurs. So as you can see, the Pteranodon wasn't a dinosaur. We actually have seven creatures that weren't dinosaurs and only the T-Rex, the Triceratops, uh, the Deinonychus, the Stegosaurus and the Dilophosaurus are real dinosaurs.
After the dinosaurs went extinct, about here, we had a lot of colder times. That is why the dinosaurs died, they couldn't deal with the colder times. You see, in the time of the dinos, it was very warm. So when it became super cold, they didn't know what to do, and they died. Then, many millions of years went by, and actually, all of these should be at the very, very end, about, like, right here. But they don't fit. So, I will put them all here. First, we have the Smilodon, also known as the Sabertooth Tiger. So, as you can see here, the Smilodon, sometimes known as the Sabertooth, was a very dangerous hunter because it has giant teeth and it is always ready. That's why it's twitching its ears, because it's ready. It's listening for its prey. This is its natural habitat, the savanna plains. Just like where we have the lions today, we used to have the Smilodon, which only went extinct maybe about 12,000 years ago, when humans already existed. So, maybe some humans from very long time ago have been eaten by the Smilodon. Or maybe a Smilodon has been eaten by humans. Who knows? Then, of course, also in the latest glacial period called the Pleistocene, which some people call the latest Ice Age, we had, of course, the most famous creature, the woolly mammoth. I cannot really pick him up because even when he is born, he is already very, very happy. The woolly mammoths, as you probably know, look just like elephants, but brown and with a lot more hair to protect them against the cold, cold weather. Not like the elephants we know today who need to protect against the warm weather. They had very thick hair, kind of like wool, which is why they are called the woolly mammoth. Also, they had giant tusks, as you can see here, these big tusks. They used those sometimes to fight. And as they grew older, the little mammoths actually changed the tusks, just like humans when they are kids. They sometimes lose their teeth and then they grow new teeth. The mammoths could actually lose the tusks a few times in their life and grow a new one. Isn't that interesting? <sighs> Another creature from around that time, a little later perhaps, was the Glyptodon. The Glyptodon was kind of a slow creature and of course it couldn't really run away very fast from attacker. So that's why it grew a large shell around him as you can see, look at this. I can hold him, he's very heavy, but we can look only for a little bit. And he grew spikes around it, as you can see, to defend from attackers. And even on its tail, it had very big spikes. J just like the Stegosaurus, but much, much later. Millions of years later. Here we have the Glyptodon. As you can see, when I pick him up, he hides his head, because he's kind of scared. So he hides his head inside of his shell. And when I put him back in... That's when he gets comfortable again and he will look at us and he will be curious because the Glyptodon is kind of shy. Then one of the last animals that went extinct more than a thousand years ago is the ground sloth. As you can see, the ground sloth was a peaceful creature, but it could grow really big. Unlike the sloths that we know today that just kind of hang in trees and that are small and skinny, the ground sloth could get really, really big, in some cases even bigger than an elephant. And it would just sit on the ground. Of course, it couldn't be in the trees when it was as big as an elephant. And of course, the claws on its hand were absolutely giant. So even though this creature was mostly peaceful, if you were an attacker, you should be careful for its giant claws. And now at the very end of the tour, we look at two animals that were still alive when civilization already existed, when humans were exploring the world and when we were smart and we should take care of these animals, but we didn't. These animals went extinct because of us. When a dodo gets born, he will imprint on the first person it sees. And this one has imprinted on our perk park worker angel go pokemon look at how adorable it is as you may or may not know the dodo is actually family of the pigeon the dodo is most closely related to different types of pigeons and it lived on an island off the coast of madagascar an island called Mauritius, the dodo actually still existed about 300 years ago when it went extinct because it got eaten by the Dutch when they lived on the island and they were hungry, they saw the dodo, they ate it and now it is extinct. 
Very sad indeed. Then we arrive at the very end of the tour, the last animal that was still alive. Only about 100 years ago, this animal was still alive. In fact, this animal lived in the zoo and still somehow it got extinct. Very sad. I am talking, of course, about the thylacine. The thylacine is very often called the Tasmanian tiger or the Tasmanian wolf. It is called the tiger because of the stripes at the back of its body or it's called the Tasmanian wolf because it has a shape a little bit like a dog. Here we can see two thylacines in their natural habitat. It liked to live on the Australian plains and when the humans got it, they put it in the zoos and there are still pictures of this animal. That is how recently this animal lived, that there's still official pictures of it and sadly it still went extinct that is very sad and i think we should remember as humans that we should never let the animals go extinct because they are so beautiful can you imagine a hundred years from now if the normal tiger is extinct or wolf or something else that it would be very sad so that's why we should always care for our planet and the animals and should be nice to all animals so they will never go extinct like the tasmanian tiger luckily we were able to bring it back in this dino park but not in the rest of the world very sad indeed all right so the roblox dinosaur park wants to say thank you for coming on this journey with us thank you to my assistant angel go pokemon for showing his dodo and helping to build and everything else and please make sure to throw away all your trash on the way out thank you very much bye all right what a beautiful show by nigel the paleontologist Yes, he has shown us all the dinosaurs and all the other animals and he has taught us about them. I hope you guys like the show. Make sure to leave a comment on what your favorite one is. What is your dream pet in Adopt Me? I hope it's the T-Rex or Dodo. Those are my favorites. I only need the Dodo now. I have everything except the Dodo right now. So maybe I will trade for it or maybe I will open some more dino eggs. But for now, I am really happy with my... T-Rex. Very beautiful. He is called Mini Me and I can ride him around. So thank you Adopt Me for putting dinosaurs in your game and letting me build the dino park. And if you guys like dinosaurs and dino parks, make sure to subscribe because we will be building a lot more dino parks. Ooh, he put the right potion on the dono. Right, dodo. Very beautiful. Yes. Anyway, this channel is all about building dino parks and other dino things. So please subscribe. Dino fans only. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dinosaur. Stomp, 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 stomp. stomp.